In this video, we're going to show you the easiest way to create a panel molding accent wall for your space using panel molding from Osborne. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. To get started, we first need to find the total length of our wall and measure and mark the center point. We want to create four boxes on this wall, so we'll make each box two foot wide with a 16 and a half inch gap in between. To find the dimensions for your project, first add up the width of each box combined and subtract that from the total length of your wall. Then divide that number by the total number of gaps on your wall for the final width of each gap. The number of gaps on your wall will depend on how many boxes you choose to install. A four box wall will have five gaps and a five box wall will have six gaps and so on. Next, we can determine our desired gap from the floor and ceiling and check our level on each mark. Before cutting our molding, we'll measure and mark the corners for each box to allow for easy installation of the project. Next, we'll cut out all the pieces for our first set of boxes with a 45 degree miter on each corner. It's important to keep your miters in the correct orientation when cutting, making sure the outside of the molding is facing the correct way. Before installing, I applied some painter's tape to our marks to give you a better representation of each of the corners of our box. This isn't a necessary step, but it can help with alignment when installing the panel molding. To attach the molding, I'll first apply some liquid nail on the back side and then line up the corner of the miter to our marks. Finally, I'll use a finish nailer to tack the molding in place while the liquid nail dries. It's also recommended to check your level frequently to avoid an uneven installation. Once our first piece is in place, we can go around the rest of the box lining up on our corner marks and making sure everything is level and square. For this installation, we chose to do a 5 inch gap between our top and bottom box. This is up to your project preferences depending on the dimensions of your space. Once our first set of boxes are installed, we can now pull the measurements for the rest of the wall. Once again, I'll be sure to mark out the corners for each box to help with installation and then head out to my miter saw to cut out all the pieces for the remaining boxes. Once all of the molding is cut out from my remaining boxes, I can install them the same way as I did the first set and get ready for finishing. Before painting the panel molding, it's important to add some caulking to each seam to help hide any unevenness in the wall. I'll also apply some caulking to the nail holes that we created earlier and sand any spots that may need it. Next, you can add the paint color of your choice and enjoy your newly installed panel molding. Thanks for joining us for this episode. If you're interested in learning more about panel molding from Osborne, be sure to check out the links in the description below. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time in the Builder Studio.